Judge Goodell's ruling is officially in, and in the case of People v. Deflategate, it does not look good for Tom Brady and the Patriots. Again, I don't know why we didn't call this PSI New England. Let's review the NFL's punishments and their explanation for why they dropped the hammer. First and foremost, Tom Brady suspended for the first four games of the regular season. That's pending appeal, of course. Jimmy Garoppolo steps into the starter position for New England in that first month. Brady's first game back is going to be in week six, Sunday night against the Indianapolis Colts. It's probably just a coincidence. I'm sure the additional ratings are just an accident for the NFL. Second, the Patriots lose a first round draft pick in 2016 and a fourth rounder in 2017. Now, you may recall that New England already lost a first rounder in 2008 as a result of the Spygate controversy, and they remain the only franchise in NFL history ever to lose a first round pick. And as for that fourth rounder, who did the New England Patriots take in the fourth round of the 2010 draft? That's right, a murderer. Third, New England gets fined a million dollars. I, I don't even know why the NFL bothered with that. A million dollars means literally nothing to the NFL. They might as well have just told Bill Belichick to take the change out of his dirty hoodie. And finally, I've asked resident dad Matt Ufford to read a portion of Troy Vincent's letter to Tom Brady so that we can all feel his sense of shame. Thomas Edward Patrick Brady! Your actions as set forth in the report clearly constitute conduct detrimental to the integrity of and public confidence in the game of professional football. The integrity of the game is of paramount importance to everyone in our league and requires unshakable commitment to fairness and compliance with the playing rules. Each player no matter how accomplished and otherwise respected, has an obligation to comply with the rules and must be held accountable for his actions when those rules are violated and the public's confidence in the game is called into question. Thank you, Matt. Shame on you, Tom Brady, and shame on us, America.